so fucking precious when you to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is kayla today i'm going to be recreating your guys's makeup looks got this video request from someone i forgot who you are but um let me know down below because thanks for requesting this i thought it wasn't fair to pick the makeup looks myself so i use like a generator and it picked four girls or followers to use I'm using a follower's face makeup oh you know contour blush and all that eyes so i picked a different girl for the eyes and a different girl for the eyebrow and a different girl for the lips i have them all right here so that is why i'm gonna be looking over here to the right because i'm looking at their makeup oh yeah i'm just gonna be copying their makeup i will put all their social media handles somewhere on the screen also a picture of the makeup so you guys can see what i'm doing i do already have my foundation on because your girl's face is not looking too cute i'm on my period tmi so i do have a lot of pimples right now so yeah first i'm going to start off with the eyebrows for the eyebrows i am using i forgot her name hold on ashley's eyebrows so she has sort of thin eyebrows i do my eyebrows pretty thick why i chose hers she has kind of that fade and the arch she has like a medium brown eyebrow looks like she does use a powder i'm not sure if that is true we are going to use a powder and she does have medium brown i think I'm going to use my lorac pro palette take cold taupe and do my eyebrows with that also if my foundation looks really dry it's because it is out of like my good foundation so i've been using the wet and wild photo focus foundation i don't like it for my skin at all it's not good for dry skin so i don't recommend that is why my foundation looks kind of shitty but your girl's lazy as fuck and i don't feel like redoing it so i'm just going to take my billion dollar brow brush and dip that in and she has flaky ass eyebrows so um since they are pretty thin i'm just gonna keep my like shape and just give it that little arch and then her tail is pretty thin so i am also going to do a thin tail and it goes kind of downward and fill in the rest of my brow now I'm gonna do the front of my brow, lightly kind of fill it in. I did do my eyebrows last night to kind of have a different shape so I could do this. Now I'm going to kind of blend the eyeshadow slant, slantily, is that a word? Does that look like her eyebrow? I think she does use concealer under her brow. So I'm gonna take my concealer brush and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to take the yellow shade in this until under my brow she doesn't it looks like she doesn't use a lot of concealer so i'm just gonna kind of do it lightly i feel like my makeup is gonna end up being like shit because every time i try to copy someone else's makeup it never turns right i don't know why i'm gonna blend the concealer with my finger and to do the top just very lightly with concealer I'm just gonna blend the brow back. That is the eyebrow. Since I already have my foundation on, the concealer's kind of not blending, but I will blend it later. Now I'm gonna go do the other eyebrow and I'll be right back. So here are the eyebrow. By the way, sorry if I offend any of you. If my makeup turns out horribly, it's not that your makeup is bad, it's just because I fucking suck at makeup, so. Now onto face makeup. I'm going to be using, I think your name's Allie, but it might be Kayla. I'm going to be using her face makeup because I love her highlight. I love the way that she like connected it with her eyebrow bone and her cheek and also the lighting changing cool i'm pretty sure she does what i do she uses concealer under her eye i'm going to take i think it's about the storm great i'm going to take the concealer brush and then the anastasia palette and I'm going to conceal under my eyelids i mean <laughs> my eyes she has it lighter up here so i'm going to conceal my forehead i don't think she contours her nose so Where's my beauty blender? So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out. Now I'm going to take concealer because this foundation rubs off horribly when you blend it out with anything else. So I'm going to take the concealer and cover up my blemishes because she literally has no pimples and I have a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna conceal my whole face. That out with the beauty blender again. By the way, 
She had the YouTube too, Allie does, and I don't know if she uses it that much um now, but I will link it down below so you guys can go subscribe to her. She's really sweet, so make sure you definitely subscribe. She doesn't have too harsh of a contour. It seems like she has more on her forehead than her cheeks. So I'm going to take like a bronzer. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild contouring palette. Actually, no. I'm going to take my Hula bronzer by Benefit. Take this Expert face brush and then just do my cheeks a little bit. Not too harsh like I usually do. Because when I usually do it, it makes it look like I have fucking dirt on my face. Yeah, more on my forehead. She doesn't have a big forehead though, and I do, so this works out great. I also have a mirror over here, so that's why I'm like looking over here. We like a nice blend, so make sure you blend it all out. I'm not very good at blending my powder for some reason. I don't know. Does that even look blended enough? I don't know. We'll fix it with powder. So now I'm going to take my Cody Airspun powder. She has a more uh, hydrated skin, but I have a dry skin, so I'm not going to use too much powder. But I am going to bake just a little bit. Not as much powder as I usually do. And do my forehead in the middle because it does look lighter right there. So we're going to bake under that contour. I'm going to let that sit for not too long. I don't want my skin drying out because your girl's skin is already dry as fuck. <laughs> I'm going to wipe away that. We love a chiseled cheek. <laughs> I'm going to use my Seal the Deal Hygiene Setting Spray by Flower. I spray that a lot because her skin, like I said, is not dry. It's very like dewy and what I wish I had. Now time for the highlight. I really love the way that she did her highlight. So it seems more of a white than a gold, I think. Yeah. My inner corner for my eye. I'm going to do what I use on a regular basis. It's the L'Oreal True Match Liquid Glow Illuminator. And I put that on the back of my hand. And like, I'm almost out, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm struggling. And just take this small brush and put that in the inner corners. She did send me another picture. So she has some on her nose, so I'm gonna do that as well. And then the cupid spell. Oh, she has it connected to her brow bone all the way to her cheekbone. I'm gonna take the rest on my finger. Just use it a little bit, cause it is kind of hard to blend. I'm gonna put that on my cheekbone and in like a C shape and then do the other side. To make the highlight more poppin', as hers is definitely poppin', I'm going to take this LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. I use this every day. It's literally an eyeshadow, but it works great. It's a dollar, go get it. It works great for highlighter. I'm gonna take this fan brush and Highlight my face into a C shape. The highlight, and she also has it on her brow bone. I'm going to take this Anastasia brush and just put that onto my brow bone. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but girl, it's popping. She doesn't have blush on, I don't think. I'm not sure. Let me know if you do. But I am going to put a little blush just in case that she does. I take this blush brush and then my Too Faced Sweethearts blush and lightly just dab that onto my cheeks to give it a nice rosy color. But that is the finish face and eyebrows. Now on to eyes. For the eyes, I'm pretty excited about this one because I picked her for her eyes. Never done an eye look like this. It's very dramatic, very pretty. Girl, you slay. All of you slay. Every makeup picture I got, I was like, Yes, bitch. And the inner corner, it's like purple and then it fades out to orange, which I love that. And then she has a glitter in her crease, like a silver slash purplish glitter. So I'm going to use purple just because I don't have a silver glitter. And she also has fake lashes on, but I don't think she has a wing. So we're not going to do a wing, but we are going to try to do her eye look. To do the purple look in the inner corner, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35N palette. And I'm going to use this purple shade. It actually shows up lighter on than it does in camera. First, I'm going to do the purple. I'm going to use my Luxie 249 brush. Take the purple into just my crease, my inner crease. I think it goes to like pink. So I'm going to use this pink shade, the same palette. And I'll put pink right next to it. And I'm going to blend those two colors out. 
Now for the outer orange part, I'm gonna be using my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna take Rilgar, which is a bright orange shade. I'm gonna go back in with the Luxie brush and put that right on the outside of it. Oh, I've literally never done a look like this before. Like, I actually love it. I'm gonna take this bluff blending brush and just blend that all out. Now, I'm gonna cut the crease because I'm pretty sure that's what she did. Go back in with the Anastasia palette and the brush and just conceal and make it a cut crease. Now for the glitter, I'm gonna take this purple. This is from Messy Bitch Cosmetics. It's in the shade Deja. This looks like this, it's really pretty. I take this eyebrow brush that I don't use anymore. I use it to apply my glitters or um, if I need to get a color like in the crease. I'm just gonna use this. Put that right into my crease. This does kind of have a lot of fallout as you can see. I'm gonna try to make it not fall out. <laughs> you know? Fell out like into my eye. Wow, this is going so good. Like it's all in my eye. That's what I've always wanted. I'm just gonna take this shirt. Um, a lot of fallout, but it is pretty pigmented, so I like that. Now she took purple in her outer corner, so I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe palette and the same Luxie brush that I use for all my eyeshadows. Um, I need to get more brushes. Literally all my brushes are from Ipsy, so I don't like go and buy them myself. The same purple shade and put that into my outer part of my eyelid. Here's what we're going at. Oh, it looks like she has a light pink instead of like this concealer still here. I'm gonna take the pink again and we're going to use this Sliss Slimmest Glam eyeshadow brush in N15 and dab the pink on there. That kind of showed up more brighter than I wanted it to. Oh, I'm just gonna keep dabbing until it kind of lightens out. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow. Obviously, I'm not as talented as her or any of you, so... Oh, so she does have a little concealer. I just noticed this. She has a little concealer right there for like a little line. So, I'm going to take the concealer and it looks like a white. So, I'm going to take this white shade that I'm literally out of. <laughs> I'm going to try to get some out of it. And just do two little lines. Like... This? Is that, is that how you did it? I don't know. Off for of the lashes. Do I even have lashes? I don't think so. I'm going to take this mascara. It's from Wake Up and Go. I don't know. I got it in my Ipsy. And I'm just gonna apply the mascara. These are the only eyelashes I have. They're pretty similar to hers, but not really. So I'm gonna go apply these and then I'll be right back. I put the lashes on. Now for the under eye, I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe palette, shade right under my lash line. She doesn't have harsh eyeliner, so I'm gonna take the NYX liner and just lightly apply that onto my lash line. A little mascara to my lashes on the bottom. Now moving on to the last step, it's the lips. I'm gonna be using Madison's lips. I don't have the exact shade as what she has, so I'm gonna be mixing three lipsticks, lingerie lipstick, and I don't even know. Oh, embellishment. Um, it's a purple shade. And then she kind of has a red tone to it, so I'm gonna use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Then for like the nudish color, I'm gonna be using the Milani Lip Good Lipstick and Adorable. Hope that this turns out like hers. She does have very full lips. <laughs> I'm hella jealous. I literally have to get lip fillers for my lips to look like that. So, lip liner. No, I'm not going to because I need to sharpen it. We're gonna take the Milani lip liner and the shade Spice and line my lips a lot because your girl got small ass lips, so we want them to be full. She doesn't overline her lips, but you know, I have to. She's got those natural good lips. Okay, now that we have the lip liner on, I'm first going to apply the purple shade, the NYX lingerie lipstick. I'm gonna apply that first. Then I'm gonna apply the red, the NYX lipstick, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit. I'm gonna apply three little dots at the bottom and then two at the top. And blend that in with my finger. I'm gonna have too much red, but there is like a hint of red in the lipstick that she used, and I just fucked up. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. The 
nude. I'm gonna apply that last and I'm gonna apply a thin layer. I'll blend that out. It's enough to her lip shade. Oh, she does have a pointed like Cupid spell, so I'm gonna point out my lips a little bit. I just pointed out the Cupid's bow um, a little bit because I have more of like a flat Cupid's bow. She has more of like a rounded Cupid's bow, if that makes sense. So this is the finished makeup look. End of my video. I hope you guys like the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave your request below. Subscribe. If you like these kind of videos where I recreate your makeup looks, I can do a part two. Just let me know down in the comments. Thank you to everyone who sent me your <laughs> Send me your makeup picture. Like I said, I did use a generator, so I didn't necessarily pick all the girls myself because um, I just didn't think it was fair that way. So hopefully next time you can be in one of my videos as well. I can also like react to your outfits or react to some of your other things or I can recreate your outfits. Just let me know down below what I should react to with my followers or recreate, you know? I'm sorry if it's like horrible as fuck. I tried my best and all of your makeup slayed. You're all beautiful. Yeah, thank you for sending me your makeup. Well, I could film this video. But yeah, I have all their social medias down in the down bar. Make sure you go follow them. Make sure you turn on my post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. Stay happy. Bye guys. Never have I ever sent someone a naughty pic. Naughty. <laughs> My mom already knows, so. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>